What is going on everybody? It's your boy Julie coming at you with a brand new episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Now in the last episode, we and uh, us and Zelda were going out on a date. It was going really nice until this weird plot device tornado came and just swept Zelda off her feet and all the way down to the surface. And now we gotta go find her and then this episode we're gonna do just that. So let's go ahead and head on the outside and see what we got. Hmm, interesting. Who is this lady? We have seen her in our dreams before. But, uh, I guess we're following her. I wonder where she's taking us. Hmm. This weird blue-haired lady with, uh... Kind of a short skirt, but hey, can't remember. she doesn't really have skin, so I I, I guess it's okay. <laughs> All right, Oof. it's a little kitty cat. That's not bad. So we're trying to save Zelda, and we're stuck here following this random lady. I what are we doing? I don't. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Stupid cat. For your punishment, you shall be thrown off the cliff. Yay! Oh no. Bye! Okay. We got this though. Uh, what, what are those things? They're... No, they give off jelly bombs. What are they called? They're called choo-choos. That's what they're called. I knew that. We're just testing things. <laughs> we got a red ruby. It's worth 20 rubies. Ball and... Alright, let's continue following this, uh... Random. What the? You're back, huh? You wanna fight? You wanna fight again, huh? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You stay in that corner. You stay in that corner. Man. What is that cat's problem? Yeah, that's right. It's just whimpering like a little uh, defenseless cat that it is. But in reality, I don't think so. Let's see if we can get a monster claw off this guy. And we're not gonna get nothing. Because of the lock. Oh, hello. No. Alright. I wonder what happens if I uh, fall off the island. Do I just like kinda die? Or maybe I can just like fall off and oh okay, I guess we just found that out. <laughs> That was totally an accident. I guess we don't, but that'd be kind of cool if we just fall all the way through the clouds and then, uh, we're on the surface. Watch your footing out there in the dark, you never know. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a knight. Alright. So it looks like we have to have one of those lights to fly in the dark. But that was actually a complete accident. That was kind of funny. Just as I was talking about it. Alright, let's... Continue down the road. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Alright. This lady who has been in our dreams, what are you leading us to? Interesting. Very interesting. I feel like plot devices are coming about right now. Does that statue, like, it didn't look like she had a head. Like, she's got hands, and then, like, the head's just, like, gone. Maybe it's just because it's dark, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and head on inside this uh, plot device chamber. Inside the statue of the goddess. Correction. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. 
I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Jilly. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Link's like, what the? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Well, I mean, of course she's still alive, otherwise we'd have no game. And the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one, fated to be a part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Well, we will need a sword that's quite a bit more effective than the one we have now. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Link's face is just like, what the? But now he seems determined, so. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. I will do just that. Alright. And this kind of cool. I'm actually like moving the Wii Remote down and then grabbing hold and yanking it up. That's kind of cool. And there we go. That's the cool thing about Wii Motion Plus. It's like you actually get to do like Link's movements. I don't know. I, th I think that's pretty cool. But anyway, we got the Goddess Sword. Yay. It's a stronger sword. Recognition complete, master. Jolly, my master. Oh. <laughs> Jolly. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will awake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place more sacred. Link's face is like, what the junk? <laughs> it started days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. Why I was alone with the sword, I don't know. I was just jerking off something. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Well, I wouldn't say we're wise, we're kind of lazy. <laughs> ah yes, the old tradition, one of the least reliable methods, one of the re bleh, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Oh snap. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of the apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below, and united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. There's a lot of talk of destiny. 
Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a world below, far more vast than the Skyloft. Yep, yep, I got it. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is the only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Julie. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. Well, I mean, Zelda just did it, so... What? Oh, snap. Let me move my, uh, magical, fabrically looking arms. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. We got the Emerald Tablet. That's gonna let us go to the surface. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are a form of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. I will do just that. Alright. Shishing. What, what happened to my old sword? Did it just like disappear or something? I don't know, but. I like this sword better, to be honest. No offense to our, uh. Our trainer? The, the guy in the sparring hall, but. No offense to him, but. I like this sword better. You know, it's legendary. Is it going to glow? I don't know. Whoa, cray cray. Master Jalit, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Sweetness. Jalit, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. Whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big roles to play in the destiny of the land. Just think, if what this Fi says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Jalit especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. I don't really have a choice, do I? What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please, see it through and prove the legends are true. Uh, it is a lot, but okay. You do your people proud, Jaleed. Oh, thanks. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Jalit. And those clothes, they don't look up for the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. Yes, we have people working 24 hours for it. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. It only takes one day and one night. We have our little elves working 24 hours non-stop. We whip them if we don't work fast enough. What? Nah, I'm good. I don't want to see. And we are back at the Nat Academy. We got our clothes. I must say, Link looks pretty bad, eh? Hmm. 
That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Hmm. I wonder why. We do. We look pretty bad, eh? I'm not gonna lie. Take care on your journey. And be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Alright. Let us get going. Now, I don't think I'm going to find five rupees in my uh, odd assortment of collection. Yeah, there's nothing useful. What is in there, though? I just, I don't know. Well, we've got our uniform. Ready to go. Jalee. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. We got the adventure town. Pouch. Hashtag dab. Alright. So with that, we're allowed to carry four items, which we'll uh, eventually upgrade for over time. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch and they might come in hand. A shield would fit in that pouch. I don't know about you guys, but that little pouch on the back there doesn't seem too big. Not big enough for a shield, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. It's okay. Hashtag game logic. <laughs> I am ready for adventure. Here we go. Looks like this guy wants to talk with us. I heard the news, Jaleet. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're gonna go look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me there's a land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So, that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Sweet. We got the wooden shield. It's got a little bird signia on it. That's okay. It's like we're birds ourselves. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. Awesome. And... If you're not sure how to use a shield, can I have Commander Aegis? That's his name. I completely forgot his name, and now there's a stamina shield there. Bleh. Stamina fruit there. It wasn't there before. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and resulting in the home of light. I'm going to state the obvious that you already know. I must also caution... Yep. More stuff than I already know. Blah blah blah. You're not as bad as Navi, so that's okay. But you are still kind of annoying. Once you're accustomed to the controls, blah 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 blah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the bazaar. And let's equip this uh, shield. One thing I like about the shields is that they actually break. Like, I think that's more of a realistic approach to the shields, but then also the swords could break or dull over time too, so. I don't know. Let us look around. This is the bazaar. I don't think there's anything over there. There's some uh, shops here, and uh, what's this? What does my eyes behold? Look, I'm not let us visions. Blah blah blah. I really don't want to talk to you. I'm. I no no. Trust my piercing eyes. Those eyes kind of are piercing. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Hello, welcome to the item check. I'm actually going to talk with her every time I come in because it will prove useful for a side quest later on. Alright, but the main thing here is uh, if we didn't talk with Instructor Alan, then we'd get the shield here. And also, let's talk with her. Hey, you there! Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least, hmm? Let me tell you, one look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. So don't try and slink away without stocking up. Oh dear. I've got to ask you if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you though. 
So I'll give you a square empty bottle that I've been keeping here in my stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things in the potions besides an empty bottle. Wait, did I say that right? I don't care. So, it's a useful thing to carry around. And we got the empty bottle. That's actually going to be proved very useful. So, mm. Empty bottles, fix your adventure pouch, blah blah blah. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch, you can always mm. drop it off the item check. That's something an item check lady should tell me. But, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and scoop up mm. this, uh... Bat of Heart Potion. It's 20 rupees. I will take it. Scoop. We got the Heart Potion. Awesome. Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can make something up for you. Alright, well that's gonna do it here at the Bazaar. Our next item of adventure. Or the next item of business is adventure. Next up, we are going down to the surface, but we're actually going to go ahead and do it on the next episode. So I will see you then, where we finally start our adventure down on the surface. Doodles.